Oh, so we're we're back. We're back, baby. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's just get into it. Let's get into it. So we remember Gus, right? Um. Yeah, that was really... Honestly, Gus went out like a champ. Okay? That's all I'll say. Okay. But where do we go from here? That's the question. Oh, I'm so... I'm so excited to finish this game, guys. I have been thinking about it nonstop. <laughs> Gregory, stop. I'll cry. I'll cry right now. Oh my gosh, Dawn's bed is empty my god do I go up here oh I'm assuming so yeah okay okay um my mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died understandably at the time it was as far away as she could get <gasps> This girl is also, Miss Girl is pregnant. Like, she's pregnant. And she's 17. So. That's something to think about. Oh my gosh, is Dawn bisexual? Happy Pride. Dawn Sanjay. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Okay, so that's our dad. Okay, fly to India, June 1987. Wow, okay. She only needed one day to pack. That's, wow, couldn't be me. College application. Okay, so this must be Dawn, like, circa, like, yeah, 87, senior. Okay. Interesting. So it sounds like our girl Dawn is a little bit of a, um... She... She likes to be a humanitarian, perhaps. She's a humanitarian. This is actually a pretty neat space. Holy Bible. Okay, I'm assuming this is Dawn's. All right, besties, let's just get right in it. Let's Religion just... was another thing my mom never talked about. But I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. My religious trauma said no. Oh, I thought that this was her shrine for a second. Okay. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. Wow, okay, wow, we are, we are up here now. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Oh my gosh, we're like on top of the house. We're like in the, in the, ooh, is that a bird? <laughs> when my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. Basil. Basil, if you're watching, your name is in here. And time. Time, if you're watching. Time and Basil are here, guys. <laughs> Milton. And to see kids in the house again. Oh, so she named, like, each garden after us. Oh. I'm gonna cry. It's Dawn's garden. Wow, this is really The house cool. had to get a little bigger, but 
Edie was used to that. Right. Wow. Wow, look at that. This game is gorgeous. This game is genuinely so pretty. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. Wow. So she taught us school here. Wow. I almost I thought that that said yassification of living last. things. <laughs> I thought that that said yassification of living things. Oh my god, I'm so chronically online. Oh whoa. <gasps> okay, so this is like an a history of our family. Our family history, fact or fiction, that's crazy. What does that say? Barbara, Molly, Sam, yeah. Lewis rules. <laughs> Lewis rules. That is crazy. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's us, isn't it? Wow. Is that candle still burning? Oh, okay, it's not. It's not. Scientific method. Slay. Okay, it didn't last. The beginning of the end was Milton's tenth birthday when Edie gave him a castle. Bitch, that scared me. That gave me a fright. Gave me a fright. Milton. Oh, oh. Wow. Oh, this scares me. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Hate that. Can I look in here? After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. Hmm. This game is crazy. <sighs> that was so weird seeing our silhouette. Milton was like a artist. Finch in the magic paintbrush. Oh, it's one of these. much about him, did we?
scared. Scared and frightened. Mom spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. That's so sad. Imagine like... God. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. What did he find? What did he find? Oh, excuse me. Those vases are in my way. Very rude, whoever put those there. It's so weird, like, seeing your silhouette in games where you're, like, you're always in first person, so you'll never see, like, what Mom you look like. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but I think Lewis blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until Mom got him a job at the cannery. That's right, our brother did, did cannery. Everyone always told me to stay out of Lewis's room. Except Lewis. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Um... Okay, yeah. Okay, so that's, so that's certainly a thing. That's certainly a room. Um, oh, this does not lead up to anywhere. Slay. Okay. Uh, yep. This is certainly a room. And I have a bad feeling about this one. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this one. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it's like literally a boat. It's like a boat. Lewis's yep. room smelled very, very familiar. That part of him lived on. Yep. Yep. All right. Yeah. That's, uh, this is certainly a thing. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Sorry, one second. <laughs> okay. Uh, where's my... Okay. I'm also very bad at video games, so I relate. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. Am I supposed to be doing He kept thing? working at the camera. Oh. But he withdrew part of himself. Oh. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. Mm. His mind began to... ...wander. I asked him to describe it. He said he started small, imagining a labyrinth. Oh, this is so much for me right now. Oh my god. His way about. I am, I am not good at this. Um, 
I can't focus on two things at once. Then something moved. Bats. Bats? Okay, this is really distracting for me. And things that have not names. God. Sorry if this this might take me a minute. Um, I am lost. Also, these fish keep getting in my way. Oh, this is making me sad. I don't. Poor fishy. Poor fishies. I'm sorry, fishies. Oh my God. Completely, utterly lost. Oh god, I'm really not doing well. Oh my god. <laughs> ah! This is so hard! was all in his head. Uh. But he took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. What the fuck is going on? But he found something more. It's like a game within a game right now. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Really, bestie? Or is he just like a whole new out? Lewis. So I let him go on. I even encouraged him. Oh, shit. This it seemed very promising at first. Oh, there's so much going he told on. Me he'd made a new friend. Oh, my God, a puppy! Oh, stop. Oh, God, is this going on? The edge where of I the city named Lewis Topia. This is so distracting. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. That one guy is like, woo! <laughs> These people are fucking and songs vibing. To play. He talked These about starting are... a band. And he was always humming something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. He no longer spoke at the cannery. What the hell? But his chopping was as reliable as ever. I'm screaming right now. And one day it struck him. That all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. Oh, that's right, I gotta go up here. Oh shit. This is so hard to do. He held an election for mayor. And he won. Oh, whoa. Where am I supposed to go? They begged him to stay. But his mind was already wandering. 
Okay. It became a game for him. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Lewisville. Oh, I thought I had to stop there. St. Louis. Hi, Audrey. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, Bestie, I'm so sorry. I probably have no reality. idea what's going on right now. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on right now, if that helps. Um. Minneapolis. Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. Stop giving him fish then. He has to go home. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a. Oh, oh, I get to choose? Beautiful prince. Happy Pride Month. Prince was on his own quest for Radiant Rainbows. Happy Pride Month. Radiant Rainbows. Gay rights. Oh, I just knocked that down. Yeah, if you're just joining the stream now, um, I don't know what else, I don't know what's going on. Electric sitar. <laughs> Love how this has become like a choice game now. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. He knew the world was all in his imagination. But he was so proud of having created it. In his oh. own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. This is so trippy. For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. Whoa. Whoa. Began to forget the world we knew. I'm scared. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. Yeah. Gross. I don't want to look. I do not see it. I pretend I do not see it. He began to it. despise the man with a royal contempt. That's us. Whoa. Oh my god, he's like not even... He 
he's like not even doing anything. He but Holy shit. Also, this is just so sad and gross and tragic. Lewis, <laughs> buddy, you good? He's like on autopilot, yeah. Do I go up here? Is that what the game wants me to I do? I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. The palace would be packed with his companions. Oh my god. Look at these fuckers. They're so happy to see me. little guys including the wise calico who insisted on advising him that's molly the cat it's molly the cat guys it's molly it's molly it's molly Fuckers. They're Slenderman Slay, right? His prince waiting, holding his crown. There was only one thing left to do. Your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Y'all. Y'all. Yeah. I'm sorry if you're just joining. Um, I really am. Yeah. Yup. Yup. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yep. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't, genuinely don't know what to tell you. Our bestie Edie is getting, our bestie Edith is getting tired. Um. God, this game is so fucking sad. Is there anything that I missed? Oh yeah, okay. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that was, um, that sure was something. <laughs> On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. Oh God. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I wish we'd stayed. Oh, the packing peanuts. 
But I understand why we left. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. for a long time. <sighs> scared. Oh, Maybe that's Maybe I should us. have come sooner. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. Bestie, I'm crying. Bestie, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm so Oh my god, Vicky, Salem, hello. I'm gonna cry, as you can see. I'm very emotional. <laughs> I'm really sad. Uh, she did leave her plushies. Bitch, why? <gasps> Plushy collection, shark. We got a shark, that's so cute. We got a bunny, a little bear, a fox, a mouse. Oh my goodness, I'm not ready. I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. I'm not ready, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for this. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm sad. That's us. Yeah, we're pregnant. That whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word until supper when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Eden, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, <laughs> you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last- I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're finally getting into, like, the drama. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Oh or my gosh. she had a key to it. Oh my god, there's an entrance in here? I didn't see that. Oh my gosh, I'm little. Oh my gosh, I'm just, I'm a I'm child. I am a child. Oh my god. The thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your story. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. Oh my god. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay? A nursing home? We are not... <laughs> okay, Vessies, I'm sorry. We It has been dramatic the entire time. I'm just saying, like, I wanted to know what happened between Edie and, um... Between Edie and Dawn. Because it's like... They didn't get along. <laughs> now we're getting into the drama. <laughs> I'm 
sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just wanted to know what was happening between them specifically. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god. Oh man. David, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. Tea. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. Dad. God, it smelled awful. I bet. You no, know, I've seen that house every day of my life. But I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. I'm gonna cry. I got turned around. I started seeing things. came back to me this is like all of the old house stuff huh? or maybe I came back to them things I can't explain but that I need you to try and Edith what are you doing in here it's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. The next morning, the van came to pick her up, but she was already gone. After that, we moved around a lot. No. We both tried to make the best of it. So it's just me and my mom. A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> she got better for a while. She didn't. And then I was alone. The last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. What? If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. 
and appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. Oh! Oh! Oh, fuck! I just put it together! Um... I am baby. I am the baby. I am... This journal was supposed to be for you. <gasps> yeah, I think I'm being born, bestie. But now I hope you'll never see it. Take it a minute. Can I, I just uh... want to meet you and tell you all these stories myself. But I guess if you're reading this now, things didn't work out that way. <gasps> this is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask. But I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. That was so sad. <laughs> was so sad oh my god that was such a beautiful game though like incredibly well done like so well done wow that was so sad though oh my god that's such a good game It was great. I fu I loved it. It was really sad. Yeah. Play this game, besties. It's really good. It's just like... <laughs> God, that part with Dawn. Like, Edith and her mom, Dawn, really fucking got me. <laughs> oh... This is so weird to see, like, all of the stuff from the game. No, oh, stop. Remember Gregory and the frog? <laughs> the mask. Oh my god, Barbara. Poor Barbara. She didn't deserve that. She was a queen, though. <laughs> Remember what she did with that cane? Yeah. God, Molly. Remember Molly? Remember Calvin? <laughs> oh God, Calvin's story I'll never get over. I will never get over that. Oh God, I'm remembering all of these over again now. 
the peaches. My God. I'm giving you all virtual hugs right now. I love you.